Hey guys, Brandon Johnson here again. Thanks for joining me. So I'm a big fan of the Grateful Dead like a lot of people. And last year we were in San Francisco and we were checking out Haight-Ashbury because that's kind of one of those places you got to see when you're in San Francisco. And we're walking around and I'm with my brother Mitch who's the biggest deadhead I know. And we're walking around and I said, you know, we saw a couple things. We saw Haight-Ashbury Street, you know, the intersection between Haight and Ashbury. We saw all the cool buildings and the record stores and I said, well, why don't, why don't we go check out Jerry Garcia's house, you know, the Grateful Dead house, which is, you know, 710 Ashbury Street. And of course, my brother Mitch knew the address off the top of his head. So we Googled it and we walked over there and we're walking up the street. It's kind of an uphill, um, you know, kind of an uphill sidewalk there. And so we're walking towards the Grateful Dead house and we see this huge crowd of people standing there. And it's a tour group. So they're going around Haight Ashbury and they kind of got this guy leading the tour and he's kind of wearing this hipster cap and everything and he's got this little backpack guitar so we're kind of watching from a distance and he's telling the story of the Grateful Dead and the story of Altamont and all these amazing things that happened in the 60s and then he goes all right we're gonna play a Grateful Dead song for you here or I'm gonna play a Grateful Dead song for you so he whips out his little backpack guitar from around his back you know slung around his back and he starts playing Friend of the Devil so he starts you know starts singing it and playing it and everything and you know Mitch kind of looks at me and he's like all right let's go you know let's leave whatever it's kind of touristy around here so we go back down and we have a great time and we decide we're gonna go get some dinner so we take the streetcar and we, we go and get some dinner somewhere in San Francisco and and then afterwards we go to this bar and there's this girl singing and she's got a, a Georgia Bulldog sticker on her guitar and she's from Georgia and so she's got the southern draw and all that and and the bar was pretty empty. It was like a week night, you know. So she looks at us, kind of looking at us in the back, and she goes, she sees Mitch wearing his Grateful Dead shirt. And she goes, "Oh, you guys like the Grateful Dead? You want to hear a Grateful Dead song?" We said, "Sure, yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll have a Grateful Dead song, sure." So she starts playing "Friend of the Devil," "Friend of the Devil" again. So twice in one night, you know. Here I'm thinking maybe that's. You know, I didn't, I didn't realize that that was the most popular Grateful Dead song out there, but I don't know if it was just that night or what, but so we, we just kept hearing the song, Friend of the Devil, and we, we had already been playing it in our band for years, and, and uh, one of the first videos that we ever did as a band in Kind Country was Friend of the Devil, and I was playing banjo, and all my buddies were there. We were sitting next to a frozen lake somewhere in Minnesota here, and, and it's just one of those songs that I just love playing, and it's got, you know, it's got the the G major descending line in it, of course, which is probably the, the hallmark of that song. It's like... You know, it's, it's a really cool line. I mean, it's, it's something that I play all the time to warm up on. You know, we don't play that song very often anymore. I wish we did, because it's just a really fun song to play, but... You know, it's a cool thing to, to kind of warm up on, and it's a, it's a good way to, to get your flat picking chops going, because it was honestly, it's not really a flat picking song, but it was one of the first real flat picking songs that I ever learned, um, if you can even call it that. It's really not, but um, it was kind of my introduction into flat picking um, and, and the, the open position major scale. So I figured we'd take a look at that. But yeah, let's check out Friend of the Devil. I hope you enjoy it. All right, let's take a look at Friend of the Devil. So this song is just a, a G major walk down starting with the open G. And when I play this song, I like to play all downstroke. So I like to play downstroke, 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 downstroke. Those are all downstrokes, and I'm kind of playing an upstroke on the G chord. So I'm always kind of playing the G chord, right? So... Those notes. Even though I'm not actually playing the chord itself, you can kind of play... Right here, you're playing open G, downstroke, D string fourth fret, downstroke, D string second fret, downstroke open, downstroke third fret A string. So you're in the C chord now. So I like to do. You could do that kind of thing where you're playing kind of a C but with a G, with a G bass. Or I guess G higher notes is what it would be, but. 
like that. All right, so you're going downstroke open G, downstroke D string fourth fret, downstroke second string fourth fret, downstroke downstroke D open, downstroke C A third fret, downstroke second fret A, downstroke open A, and then G on the low E downstroke. And that brings you back to your G chord. Because really the chords are just G to C, so it's G to C. C and then D. We'll get into that in a second. So we're just looking at the main lick right now. So it's basically just an open G scale descending starting with an open G note on the G string with a downstroke. One, two, three, four. Then we go up to the D. What I like to do here is I like to play a little D lick. It starts with an open D. And then with your middle finger, you're playing the D chord. And with your middle finger, you're going to come up here to the, to the D string. You're going to play a third fret D string, followed by fourth fret D string. With your index finger on the G string 2nd fret, you're coming out of that, that little D lick. You're going 4th fret G string with your ring finger. Then you're going to slide all the way up to 7 on the G string. Back down to the 4th fret G string with your index finger. 2nd fret G string with your index finger. Okay, and coming out of the D and going into the C, we're starting with a downstroke on the G string 3rd fret. We're sliding down to the 2nd fret. Upstroke open, downstroke D second fret, upstroke open, downstroke open, upstroke hammer on on the D string, second fret, upstroke open G, downstroke D string second fret, upstroke open D, downstroke first fret slide up to the second fret on the A string. Upstroke, open D, and then a pull off on the first fret. All right, so that lick start to finish starts with a downstroke on the G string third fret. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 